I'm very excited to be able to show you the um, first of the indicators that we've been able to port across onto the TradingView platform. And this is one of them. This is the currency matrix. Not been available on TradingView before. And the reason for that was when we developed the original indicators for the platform within the Pine script, we had no object and line drawing. So it wasn't possible to create these indicators, which are very sophisticated. We now have that flexibility and our fantastic development team have been working flat out to get these developed since the start of the year. Um, they're pretty much on beta test. Uh, the ones we're going to be bringing in, uh, this is on the matrix. We've got the array. Uh, we've got the currency heat map. That's on test as well. Uh, the accumulation distribution indicator has now come out um, from uh, development. And finally, we're just working on the VPOC. So all of those indicators are now going to be available on the TradingView platform. So it will be uh, an almost identical um, package, if you will, to the MT4, MT5 platform. And we're also looking at doing the Renko optimizer here as well. So it will be pretty much equivalent. And, and price-wise, it will be the same. And whilst I remember the, the price of the current full package, I think, is 677 when all these indicators are available, that price will go up to exactly the same as the MT4, MT5 platform at 894. Um, but if you invest in this full package now, then you will get all these indicators free of charge. So it's not a bad time to, to invest in the full package because you get the whole lot for free, basically. We start with the currency matrix. Now, um, before I just highlight one or two things here, let's just talk about the currency matrix for a moment in context with the currency array. The currency matrix and the currency array are sister indicators, and they're very much the same as the trends and trend monitor. If you've seen those videos or you've seen them in action on other platforms, the trends indicator, little trend dots, work very close to the price action, so they will change first. The trend monitor, on the other hand, takes a more considered view of changes in trend. And it's exactly the same here. The currency matrix works very close to the price action, and therefore, the ranking of these pairs up and down the ladder, they will change pretty quickly because they're working close to the price action. Whereas the currency array, which I'm going to do some videos on, takes a more considered view. It shows you the strength of trend. It shows you the sentiment, broad sentiment, as does the matrix. But it takes a more considered view. So they don't move so often up and down. They don't move so frequently up and down the ranking ladder. So this, if you were just going to use this as a scalping tool, then it is very much that. It is a scalper's tool, if you will. Use it in any time frame. Of course, you can have it out to the dailies and weeklies. Works exactly the same way as other CSI in that context. But in terms of, of the closeness to the price action, you know that is what it does. It's very close to the price action. Therefore, these pairs move up and down the ladder very quickly. Now, clearly here, what we're dealing with, we've moved away from the currency strength indicator where we're looking at individual currencies, the building blocks, and we've now moved to look at the currency pairs and how they move in this constant uh, flux of moving from overbought and over to oversold again. So we have a currency pair at the top, pound Swiss at the moment. Now, ultimately, that will go all the way back down to the bottom here, possibly, and then all the way back up to the top again, and so on and so forth. The time frames here are pretty quick. I've got them on one minute, I've got it on three minute, and I've got it on five minute over here, just to give you a spread of time horizons. And again, same principles. Always use a minimum of three charts. That's what, che charts, that's what we recommend, whether that's for trading, whether it's for indicators, whatever it is, always use multiple time frames with our indicators. The feature that we've added to this, which is not available on any other platform at the moment other than TradeStation, but it will be ported across onto Ninja and also onto MT45 in due course, is this feature here. And what this does is it gives you a sense, as you can see here, we've got an all-time high and we've also got an average. So in the context of this at the moment, we can see we're actually moving up into new territory. You know, this is an all-time high. So this is pretty extreme in terms of a one-minute move, the one-minute time horizon. So it, it gives you context, and you can think of it in exactly the same terms as the 80-20 on the CSI, which gives you context for when a currency is overbought or oversold. Well, here we're looking at currency pairs and whether they're overbought and oversold. So it just gives you a, a benchmark, a yardstick, if you will. Where is the all-time high? 484 at the moment, so we're at 4.2. So we're there or thereabouts. The average is 3.4. So we are overextended in that context. And down at the bottom here, exactly the same principle. 
all time low is minus 4.3 the average here is minus 2.69 so you know we're overextended in that a sense as well there so it's a great benchmark you can see here we've got 4.7 the all-time high 3.84 at the moment for the dollar cad and up here six and we've got 5.31 or 6.04 rather and the average is 4.37 so you know we are in in extreme territory if you will on these time horizons now obviously as you go out past the to the slower time frames these numbers will increase um, but nevertheless the con the 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 context of, of of the the extent of, of travel up and down the ladder is exactly the same so we're always looking at these to see where we are and whether we're at an extreme or whether we've got some distance to go before that currency pair may become uh, overbought or oversold or reach an overbought and oversold state now in terms of filtering on the on the pairs exactly the same way as you can on other platforms we just go into settings here just click that and if we want to let's click on the let's filter out on the swiss franc there we go and just click on that and wait for that there we go and what we're seeing here is what we always want to see it's it's pretty much a, what i call a full house in other words the uh, what we're seeing is selling of the swiss franc down here against the yen so that particular pair is right at the bottom and the other pairs up here this is very quick obviously but you're seeing that that sentiment towards the swiss franc is reflected up here because we're seeing selling as the counter currency here reflecting these pairs which were all stacked at the top there and that's the way to do it it's very very simple so we just go back into settings so we can filter on any of those we'll just put those all back on again just click that to none and obviously click ok and they will all come back on again and that will give you the the sentiment in terms of that particular pair because what the matrix is doing as i said earlier it's if we let's just do another one let's just click on let's see what the yen pairs are doing in fact let's go to a slightly slower time frame let's go over to let's have a look at uh, this one the five minute let's just filter out let's see what's happening with the dollar so let's just click on that and we'll take out the filter on the dollar there we go okay so we're on the five minute time frame now so what is this telling us on the five minute time horizon well what it's telling us very loud and clear is that the dollar is being bought very strongly on this particular time horizon and obviously what you're looking at is across the time horizons we're seeing it over here we're certainly seeing it down here we've got the aussie dollar new zealand dollar so we're certainly seeing it on this faster time frame as well but over onto the five minute yes we've got again it's a full house because these three currencies are all up at the top or the currency pairs rather all up at the top so we've got buying of the cad the yen against the yen and against the swiss franc and equally we've got it being bought where it's the counter currency on the euro the pound the aussie and the new zealand so in terms of you know what is going on if we are trading a dollar pair right now we are trading in this sort of time horizon we are trading with the universal flow for that particular pair at this particular precise point in the market we're we're mid-afternoon we're, we're evening here uk but it's sort of mid-afternoon or, or early afternoon U, us time so you know there's lots of focus on the us dollar it's a primary time for the dollar to be bought or sold and what we're seeing right now is that strength reflected in in terms of the matrix at any rate in terms of a perfect full house for the dollar which is being bought strongly at five and obviously you could go up to 10 the 15 the 20 whatever your time horizon just see what's going on and as always what you will see in terms of any change in sentiment towards the dollar it will start in your fastest time frame so what you would see over on your one minute for example if that shifted and we started to see some selling coming into the market the first place you would see it would be on your one minute time frame in your one minute matrix and if that was strong enough to filter through to your three minute then the currency pairs here would start to drop for example the dollar cad here it would start to fall away and if that goes through onto the five minute ultimately what will happen is these will fall down the ranking ladder and clearly the ones at the bottom will start to move up you're not seeing that at the moment but if there is a change in sentiment and a shift in sentiment then that is what you will start to see and that is the power of the indicator it gives you that information it's very visual you can see what the pairs are doing you can isolate them out in this way and just get a very clear picture on what is going on in terms of the particular currency pair you're either trading or thinking of trading and obviously you know in terms of you you can look at this in exactly the same way as you would a csi for example 
you can look at it and say, well, actually, do you know what? These currency pairs down here, um, we've got a little way to go to the extreme, 9.7, 8.5. So in you know, a little way to go here, we're up an extreme here. So potentially, you know, we might be looking at this as a reversal opportunity. In other words, you're looking at the, the ranking on the matrix in exactly the same way as I would look at the CSI or anyone else and say, oh, do you know what? That currency is overbought. That currency is oversold. It might be an opportunity to see some, some reversals coming in here. Now, obviously, with the matrix, what you're going to be looking at, you're going to be looking at those seven charts as well, because generally speaking, as I said earlier, the sentiment will tend to be universal. So when the dollar is being bought or sold, obviously, it will tend to be reflected across the entire complex. Not always. And one of the things we make very clear in the education program is that the dollar yen stands apart from that particular statement because it is an unusual currency pair and particularly difficult to trade and will not necessarily behave in the way that you would expect it to trade. We spend a lot of time looking at the dollar yen for that particular reason because there's an awful lot of traders who don't understand it. And we explain it in great detail because it will not necessarily uh, react. If you're seeing, if you're looking at a yen complex, for example, you would normally expect all the yen pairs to move uh, with sentiment, either risk on or risk off. But the dollar yen does not necessarily follow that particular path. So there we go. We're very excited about the uh, the, the currency matrix. The fact that it's going to be available. We'll just pop those back on again. There we go. So they'll all cut, pop back up again. It's a brilliant indicator. Use it in multiple time frames like this. And as I say, it will be available very soon. Um, it's coming out of beta test, but I wanted to get these videos done so you can actually see it in operation to, to just um, to give you a taste of what we've been doing and what's coming down the track. But as I say, if you are already a customer of the, the full package on TradingView, and we've got a lot of you, I know, you will be getting all these indicators free of charge. It's the way we always work. It's the way we've worked since day one. If you invest in a full package with us and we develop other indicators or there is a reason we couldn't develop a particular indicator but now can, which is the case with TradingView, then you will get these indicators free of charge as a full package customer. So it's not a bad time to invest right now. So there we go. That's the currency matrix. Very exciting. And uh, we're looking forward to, to getting that launched and available. But uh, this is just to give you an insight into what's coming down the track. So... Thanks very much indeed for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. See you again soon. Lots more to come. And bye for now.